So hello guys, we're back here. Tapos, didiscuss tayo ngayon ng columns using the NSCP 2015. So, punta na tayo agad dun. Dito kasi, we have here the Euler Critical Load for column. Ito na yung PCR with the value pi squared EI over L squared. But in terms of average compressive stress, the critical load, dividing it with the gross area, simplifying the equation, we could have the FCR sa value of pi squared E over your slenderness ratio squared. We are to use that later on, pero wag muna ngayon. So, dun tayo sa fixity factor table. We have here the fixity factor, or the end fixity factor K, through which the, the theoretical values will be used. We have here fixed both ends. We have 0.5 as a value of k. We have a fix at the other end and the pin at the other one. Then we have 0.7. In this case, we have a fix support and the other one has a free moving horizontal but a value of moment is present with the k value of 1. We have here both sides pinned, k value of 1. A fix at the other side and completely free at the other. We have here a theoretical k value of 2, pin at the bottom, a free horizontal movement with the value of moment with a k value of 2. Usually, yung ginagamit yan would be the fix fix, pin pin, pin fix, fix pin, and the fix free. So, using the NSCP specifications, we should know now that force is equal to stress times area. So, we are to get that stress value. In solving FCR, critical stress, we should know first whether the column is inelastic or elastic in nature. How do we do that? We should first try to get the slenderness ratio of our column, KL over R. K would be the end fixity factor, the L would be the length of the column, unbraced length of the column, and R would be the radius of gyration. So, for it to become an inelastic column, the slenderness ratio should be less than or equal to 4.71 square root of E, elasticity or modulus of elasticity over Fy, the yielding strength of the steel. If it is, then we could use the equation of FCR as equal to 0.658 raised to Fy over Fe, quantity Fy. For it to become elastic column, the slenderness ratio should be greater than 4.71 square root of E over Fy. By then, we could use FCR is equal to 0.877 of Fe. We could solve for Fe or the elastic critical buckling stress by using the formula here. Pi squared times E over the slenderness ratio squared, we could solve for Fe for us to solve for the FCR. So let's go to the examples. Problem number one. We have here a wide flange 14 by 74 of an A992 steel, which has a length of 6 meters and pinned ends. Compute the allowable compressive stress. We have here the complete properties of wide flange 14 by 74, the things that we needed. And we could see that already we have the radius of gyrations for the X and Y axis here. So we should solve for the actual stress capacity of the column. Okay, since the radius of gyration is already given, we are not going to solve for it now. So let's go towards the slenderness ratio directly. Go for the KL over R, X for an slenderness ratio of X axis. And we have here RY for the SR, Y axis. So 1 times the unbraced length of 6000 mm over RY of the X. 153.67 mm, we have here an SR for the x-axis, the value of 39.04. For the y-axis, we could get the value of SR as 95.25. In this case, we are to compare the two. Whoever is larger would be the critical. So since 95.25 is larger, then it is the critical one. And now the critical value of your SR would be compared to the limiting value by our NSCP. So the limit value, if it goes beyond 200, then the steel would be less desired to be used in the column. So it should be less than. We are to compare now 95.25 with the value of 4.71 square root of E over Fy for us to know whether this column is elastic or inelastic. Solving, 
this value, we will know that 95.25 is less than 113.4. And since it's less than, we could say that it's an inelastic column. Now, solving for the elastic stress, that would be pi squared times the modulus of elasticity of steel of 200,000 MPa divided by the column slenderness ratio of 95.25 squared. We will have a value of 217.57 megapascals. Now, solving for the FCR, applying it to the equation, we should have a value of 117.66 megapascals. And now, solving for our load, should just multiply the stress with an area, then we will have the nominal load as 1,654.77 kilonewtons. I applied the newton to kilonewton here already. If we are talking of the ultimate value, then we are to multiply the value of Pn with phi. If it's in LRFT, multiply it by 0.9. If it's in ASD, we divide the nominal value of Pn with 1.67. Next problem. A 4 meter high column, both ends restrained, consists of the wide flange 920 by 289. And these are the properties of your wide flange. Now solve for the actual stress capacity of the column. Since inertia is already given, then we need not to solve it. Now let's try to find out what should we solve. We need a radius of gyration. So radius of gyration is just easy to solve. It's just square root of I over A. And here you could see that we could already solve for the radius of gyration for x and y axis. And after solving for the radius of gyration, you can just go towards slenderness ratio for x and y axis. And here we have two values, 16.56 and 23.97. Then again, we need to compare the two, which among them is the larger one because it's the more critical one. So 23.97 is larger, so we are again to compare this 23.97 with the preferred slenderness ratio from the NSCP. And that is, it should be less than 200. Since it's less than 200, then we could go forward and compare it with the value in 4.71, square root of the E over Fy, to know whether the column is inelastic or elastic. And since it is less than, we could say that it's already an inelastic column. Then again, solve now for Fe, or the elastic stress, pi squared, E of 200,000, and the SR that you solve, 23.97 squared. Should have a value of 3,435.53 megapascals. Then again, use this Fe to solve for FCR. So we should have a value of 240.62 megapascals. Multiplying it with the area gross that we have, we could already get the value of our nominal P or the nominal force of the column as 8,847.6 kilonewtons. Solving it for the ultimate, you are to multiply it with phi. Solving it for the allowable, you are to divide it with omega 0.9 for LRFD, 1.67 for ASD. And that's it for the video. Thank you for listening. Until next time. Peace.